My name's Barney Jones and I'm Master John Bahihol. My name is Daniel Jones and I'm Master Maud Ahihol. And, and we are the UK Church, Church of the, the Jedi. Jedi. Oh, same lights I've got with the power switch and it got modified. It's just on the same time as Jones. Yeah, same at the time. Have you got a, 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 a floating sphere that mm. shoots a Jedi in my mind, yeah? Was that thing from the actual yeah, 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 number? Yeah, the no, Jedi in my It's from the Jedi Sanctuary, that one is. Yeah. It's Master Ajax's thing. Oh. He sent this one off a couple of days ago. It's the oh. Sermon of oh. Destiny, and a lot of it's taken from episode four and six. Well, it says Qui Gon there, that's yeah. episode one. He's done this one in his so he's like how it is, so he's in front of it. 390,000 people put Jedi down as their religion. Obviously some people were doing it as a joke, but it's quite clear from the emails we had that a lot of people were serious when they put that down. So you, so you swipe across the body, yeah, you, you come down across, I got you. And in those meetings we'll be doing lightsaber techniques, the use of positive language in everyday use, positive thinking, respect for each other and ourselves, guided visualisations to help us achieve our goals, and reading out essays submitted by members of our congregation and ourselves. Close your eyes and meditate on my words. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no death, there is the force. I am a Jedi in my heart, a Jedi in my mind. Thingy, um, stuff. Yeah, I'll put that into the thing. By going to the Jedi Church, it's a, it's a way I can express myself through the teachings of the Jedi and be a big part of the Star Wars community. When we're together, it's all serious, but then we can have fun later on with the, the lightsaber skills. And if you're feeling, you know, if, if you've got angers or anything like that, then they help you to control that by uh, meditation. Max Lugo. Max Lugo. In some of the sermons and essays we read out, we do incorporate some of the teachings from the films used by Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Qui-Gon Jinn and the likes. Those are the references to the film we use, but we also like to expand on that and bring our own techniques and feelings and thoughts into the meetings. After seeing the films, you do get a sense of wanting to be a part of something that's similar to the actual Jedi congregation, so it's, um, we all feel we all feel that films heavily influences to what we do. But move your foot forward when you strike. Right. Um, they're movie replicas, um, so they're really heavy, durable, and look really authentic. Power up. As you can see, they're very bright, very, very durable. You can hit them, bend them, and they're not going to break. And the handle is very heavy and made of metal, so that gives you more of a sense of holding something. And they have also battle noises. It's not really a religion, and it's more of a fan club, more than anything. Um, you know, people, how can you believe in something that's a film, really? Holly Ed has got a bad enough name, eh, without all these little gimps going about with sabres and giving us an even worse name. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no death, there is the Force. May the Force be with you. <laughs>